and the painters have formed this army. And we have worked together on every two-year cycle for our candidates. And our candidates are the type of candidates who bring the one word we want to hear to a campaign. What word is that, brothers and sisters? <laughs> Jobs, that's right. We got to keep the same quality and the same caliber of senators in our government in Washington that understand what that four-letter word means and how precious it is to the people of this country. And there is no better champion for us in the state of Washington or in the United States of America than a candidate called Patty Murray. If it were not for Patty, brothers and sisters, Europeans would be building the tanker today. She's been relentless now for over a decade on this issue. She's fought for the aerospace jobs and against illegal subsidies. Outspoken and repeatedly taken on Airbus, in the press, and on the floor of the Senate. She continually, look, continually looks for ways to invest in Washington State aerospace jobs and workforce training programs. And she's been busy courting endorsements for it to be built in Washington State. Unlike, unlike, a guy named Senator Jim DeMint in South Carolina, who was one of the major players behind the scenes who helped convince Boeing's gang to take our 787 jobs to Charleston. And it's not like Senator Jim DeMint isn't supporting a guy named Dino Rossi. So brothers and sisters, let's send a dual-edged message when we re-elect re Patty Murray that those tanker jobs belong in the state of Washington. They belong with the finest aerospace workers in the world, bar none. And our government needs to recognize that the jobs we have in Washington are jobs for America that we need. Patty Murray is second to none as a senator. And really... So on behalf of the working people of the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades and the working people in this room, we wholeheartedly support Patty Murray and we're there when she needs us and we'll be there for her down the road. The elections this year come down to a choice between a leader who will stand for the working men and women of this country or those that will support Wall Street, corporate bailouts, and the factors that contribute to the economic collapse of this country. Thankfully, today, we have a leader who has been a true champion of the worker. No one has to ask or even wonder which Washington that Patty Murray works for. Yeah. Yeah. thank all of you that are here today, our workers. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all you are doing to help me so I can go back to Washington, D.C. and keep speaking out as your United States Senator. But we cannot get back on our feet as a nation unless we put in place good, strong laws that stand behind working men and women. I am fighting every day for laws that protect you and your families. It's why I stood up to obstructionist Republicans in D.C. so that we could pass an extension of unemployment benefits and provide relief for those families who are going through tough times today. I have worked hard over the years to pass legislation like the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act and the Family and Medical Leave Act. Pension Protection Act, increasing the f uh, federal minimum wage, all things that you have stood behind. I was able to help teachers and parents and students, and we did it without adding a dime to the deficit. How? By closing corporate tax loopholes for multinational corporations who ship your jobs overseas. Yeah. 
And when I did that, I thought, who in the world would support extending corporate tax loopholes over education for our kids? Well, I found him. <laughs> His name is Dino Rossi. You know, like I do, that we can't get our workers back on their feet without ending the runaway greed on Wall Street. I vowed that greedy corporate CEOs and wealthy Wall Street bankers would never again put our state and our country in a position to lose millions of jobs and homes and pensions. And that is exactly why I worked so hard to pass a strong Wall Street reform bill so that you are never left holding the bag again for their errors and mistakes. We cannot go back. We have to move our country forward like America has always chosen to do. So I'm here today asking for you to help get the word out. This is an important election, and I need every single vote, and I need all of you to help. I need you to do what I'm doing. Lace up your tennis shoes. Get ready to go. Knock on doors, talk to your friends, sign up and help us out with the campaign, make phone calls, and don't let any union member sit at home and not vote. So let's go out and get them. Let's win on election day, and I'll be proud to continue to be your voice. Thank you so much.